Hello everyone, in today's video, we'll check out the budget stereo receiver in the market. The budget stereo receiver I listed here are recommended by the reviewers and have lots of positive feedback from the actual users, so if you're looking for the best one for you that is worth your money then keep watching this video I guarantee you'll find the best and suitable one for you from this list. One more thing please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check the links in the description. Okay, let's start with the video. At the first position of our list, we have Sony SDR Done 190 Stereo Receiver. If you have relatively straightforward needs when it comes to a stereo receiver and don't want to spend a bundle, it's hard to do much better than Sony's SDR Done 190 Stereo Receiver. It lacks frills such as Wi-Fi and Ethernet connectivity, or any voice assistant integration, but it nails the basics and does so at a stellar price. It has plentiful ports, as well as Bluetooth for wirelessly streaming music from an MP3 player, smartphone, or computer. As our reviewer John O'Hill noted, the ultra-minimal design somehow makes it look more expensive than it actually is, while the 100 per channel stereo sound is excellent. There are some creature comforts here that serious users may miss, and the more technical slash the aficionados may want to look elsewhere. But for the average buyer who wants to snag a stellar stereo system for $150 or less, the SDR Done 190 is a steep. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Fosi Audio BT, a tiny two-channel amp that fits in the palm of your hand. The Fosi Audio BT Tina is an ideal choice for those who want to upgrade the audio on their laptop, tablet, phone, or stereo system. It has Bluetooth connectivity with a range of 50 feet, so you can wirelessly stream music from your device. There's also an aux input if you want a wired connection. This is a simple unit, with a few dials on the front to control the volume, bass, and treble, and it has only 50 watt power per channel. However, for a device that costs well under $100, it serves as an affordable way to add hi-fi sound without taking up too much space. The number 3 position is held by Yamaha RS200 Tubal Stereo Receiver. Coming in at 171-8x51-2 inches and a pretty light 14.8 pounds, Yamaha's affordable RS200 Tubal Receiver has a sleek design and conserves energy by automatically kicking into standby mode, which uses up just 0.5 volt power. The RS200 Tubal has FM slash and preset tuning for up to 40 stations, 100 watt output per channel, and Bluetooth compatibility to wirelessly stream music from a smartphone, tablet, or other device. You can connect this receiver to two separate sets of speakers, if desired, and easily switch between the outputs thanks to the helpful selector that lets you pick from either or both at the same time. Next at number 4 we have Yamaha RN300 3B Stereo Receiver. Wi-Fi connectivity isn't on the top of the list for many affordable stereo receivers, but it's one thing that helps set the Yamaha RN300 3B Stereo Receiver apart. Link it to your Wi-Fi network and you'll gain access to Amazon's Alexa Voice Assistant which can let you select songs with voice controls and access music from Pandora, Spotify, Tidal, and Siriusen. Additionally, a MusicCast app can connect to both the services and your computer's audio library and lets you play music in up to nine additional rooms. You also get AirPlay support for easy connectivity to Apple devices. Elsewhere, the 17.12 x 5.5 x 13.4 inch stereo receiver has a traditional black box design like most of its competitors and provides two channels of 100 watt output a peak. Limited inputs might put a hamper on surround sound playback. However, but the optical input makes TV hookups a breeze. The number 5 position is held by Pile PT309-2 Bluetooth Amplifier System. If cost is your biggest driver in choosing a stereo receiver, and you can deal without high-end output or sophisticated design, the Pile PT309-2 Bluetooth Amplifier System might be a solid pick. Available for less than $100, this 4-channel stereo receiver tops out at 300 watt output, which isn't bad for a 4-channel receiver in this price range. Likewise, while many receivers opt for a minimal, boxy design, this pile model looks more akin to a supersized, standalone car stereo, complete with a bright, glowing screen. Still, it's a versatile device with Bluetooth wireless connectivity for your smartphone or tablet, along with support for SD cards and USB sticks. The PT309-2 could do well as an entry-level pick. Finally, the number 6 position is dominated by Mauki Mampone Bluetooth 5.0 Power Home Audio Amplifier, a dual-channel amplifier with 220 of peak power. The Mauki Bluetooth amplifier offers Bluetooth streaming from a device that's only 10 inches wide, 4 inches tall, and 8 inches in depth. The compact device has several ports, 
including two RCA inputs, two 2.5-inch microphone inputs, a headphone jack, a USB port, an SD card slot, a 3.5mm aux and port, and an FM radio antenna on the front of the Mauki amp. There are dials for adjusting the microphone volume, as well as the echo. Base of silence, making this an ideal device for carry. Although this is a budget unit that comes in at less than $75, you can use it for a variety of purposes from music to desktop audio. That's all for today. We upload budget-friendly product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.